I'm Emma with Really Simple Recipes and today is a Halloween special. We're going to be doing stuffed peppers and we're going to carve them like we would a pumpkin. So the ingredients that we've got here, so we've got some black beans, some chilli powder, garlic granules, garlic cloves, some salsa, an onion, got a medium sized onion, some brown rice and we also have four red peppers. I am going to be making these into like your carved pumpkins. I would have preferred to have had orange peppers for this recipe but unfortunately there wasn't any available in the non-packaging department um, so all I get was red or green so I thought red it's close enough. Okay so let's get started with this recipe then. So first what we're going to do before we forget is pop our oven onto a gas mark full. That's my four, there we go. And what we're going to do is start by softening our onions. So this takes about five minutes. So as always, no oil for this. I'm just going to use a little bit of water. Keep a little bit there as well, just so that I can keep topping that up. Okay, that pan warming up. Put that onion in there. So as you see, I've just diced this onion. I'm just going to... Soften that up, take about five minutes to do. As I've mentioned previously, when we're sauteing, uh, make sure that we're keeping that pan wet. We have always got water in there, don't let it dry out too quickly. You have to excuse the noise as well. So this is a new toy of mine, it's an induction hub. It's absolutely brilliant. It gets hot really, really quickly and it cooks things really well. Um, I've managed to get it second hand off for eBay through Facebook. I think it was £25 it cost me. And it's a lot easier than having to keep turning my back around, moving all the camera equipment to start re recording things. Um, so this way I can do it straight in front of the camera without having to move around all the time. Okay, so they're looking nice and soft how I want them. Starting to go see through as well, so that's perfect the right kind of consistency that I'm looking for. It's great. Okay, so what I'm going to add into there now is my garlic cloves, which I've chopped up earlier. I'm going to just pop that in there. I'm just going to cook that for another minute or so, just to get that warm through as well. So it's one thing you have to watch with the sun duction have it cooked really quickly. Okay, okay and we're just going to add in our chilli powder. Okay. And pop in our garlic granules. onions nicely coated in all those spices and now we're going to add in some black beans what I'm just going to do with these black beans I am just going to give some of them a bit of a mash not all of them just a few of them just mash them in there we go Put them in there, there we go. And we mash a few more of them. Okay. As I say, you want to leave some of them whole, but you do want to mash some of them up. Be careful doing this if you're doing it in a pan like I am. I probably should have mashed it up before adding them in, so that you don't burn yourself. Okay, that's that in there. And then we're going to pop in your salsa. Give that a stir. And then a little bit of a last addition. I know I didn't do some ingredients at the beginning. I've decided that I want some sweet corn in there. I'm going to add a sprinkle of sweet corn 
And we're also going to get in there our rice. Pull that out. So I'm using brown rice today. So I look you can use white rice, wild rice, brown rice. And give that a good stir up. Oh, it lovely. So this I would say is a Mexican kind of style filling. Uh, I might have more filling here than I've got peppers, I've just realised. <laughs> uh, never mind. We can eat it on the side of the plate, it's not a problem. There we go. So this only takes a couple of minutes to cook. It doesn't take long at all because the main part of your cooking, it will be when you pop it into the oven. So the rice that I've added, I didn't mention, I'll mention it now, it is cooked rice, so I have pre-cooked it. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that it's all mixed up nicely, but you can see there are all the lovely flavours. The smells are delicious, it smells nice and tangy, which is what I like with my stuffed pepper filling. And that is it, that's that all ready to go, so now we need to prep our peppers. So we need to decor and cut them into the desired pattern. So first we just want to cut the top off and we want to get rid of this filling inside so we want to de-seed. I have pre-washed these peppers by the way, they are nice and clean, I have made sure of that for serving up but I might just go over to the sink just to rinse out the insides just to make sure they've got no peppers in there. And done. I'm trying to find the best spot for me to do my little face. Here we go. So I'm just going to do a little eye. I'm not the best knife for this actually, it's quite a, a sharp knife. Please, if you can do this better than me, <laughs> I wish there was a way on YouTube you can send me pictures because that would be brilliant. But still, go to my social media. So I'm on Facebook with the Simple Recipes. Uh, I'm also on Twitter as well. If you have a go at doing this and you're very successful at your design of your little pepper, let me know, I'll be very interested in seeing your designs. It's one little face, not the best in the world. I'm just going to pop him in there and then we'll do the next one. I need to make sure that I remember which lid goes with which little pepper. Pop all them little guys in there, and we're gonna fill these guys up. I'm just gonna fill up my little lanterns. Nice and full, make sure we pat it all in. Might just that. Get spoon. Yeah. Uh, get a spoon, pat it all in. Make sure it's really compact. Get loads of filling in there. We've got a lot to use up. Doesn't matter if it's overflowing a little bit. That's absolutely fine. Not a problem at all. Get all that in there. All that lovely goodness. So I'm going to have quite a bit left over, but I think I'll just have it on the side of my plate. It's one of them, isn't it? You guaranteed that 
majority of the time that it's either you make too much or you don't make enough. Okay, so it's that done. And now it's called match the lid to the pepper. It's a fun game this is. <laughs> Make sure there's little lids around. That one looks like that one. That is that one. Okay, so there you go. You can see my peppers. So you can see I've put three of the lids on. Just need to put this final lid back on. As I say, it's like a little game. There we go. There we go, that's nicely sealed on there. You go. That's my four little peppers all ready to go into the oven. And I'm going to pop them into the oven now um, for around 40 minutes. It's as simple as that. Stuffed peppers in the form of a pumpkin. I really enjoyed doing this one with you today. I've tried my best with the faces. If you can do any better, follow me on social media. Post your pictures, I'll be more than happy to see them and give you some feedback. If you've enjoyed the recipe as well, do give me a like. And if you like my Halloween decorations, my costume, give me a like as well. And if you want to see even more really simple plant-based recipes, do subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any comments, any questions, any feedback at all, pop that below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching.